Hey, Colby, when people talk about Stony Brook, including Russ, uh, they talk about physical, you know, very physical team program because they're physical every year. Uh, how does that manifest itself? And, and what do you feel, see, that's different against them? Uh, yeah, well, I definitely agree that they're a very physical team, very big. So uh, we just have to match that physicality when we go up there and, uh, you know, execute our assignments. Um, you know, I think the talent's pretty uh, equal on both sides. So uh, this game's just probably going to come down to execute and who executes their jobs better. Guys, we, we've seen teams do really well in the CAA over the past couple of years and still miss the playoffs just with two or three losses. Um, you know, what does that mean in terms of emphasizing the importance of conference games and just getting out to a good start in conference play? And, you know, I'll post it to both you guys. You know, I mean, this is obviously, you approach every game the same, but, you know, these are, these are a little bit bigger, I guess. Um, yeah, I would say conference play is the biggest play, and we know the first. We know this is a new season. The first three games to kind of get a feel for each other, for the team, and like now we know we have to like kind of turn it on for conference. Can you guys explain the first three and a half quarters at St. Francis from a player's perspective? I mean, it it seemed like it was about as out of sync as you guys can get. What? was going on, what was being said on the sideline, and how did you manage to pull yourself out of that? Uh, yeah, well, we didn't play to our full potential, but, uh, you know, uh, we got the win, and that's all that matters. And, you know, we uh, learned from our mistakes, and uh, coaches fixed that. And uh, so now we're just focused on Stony Brook. Um, I would say we it was, a, it was a thrown off week for us. It was kind of a a fast pace, like just traveling. Everything was out of whack for us. And we didn't come out to play, obviously, because it was so close of a game. But I think um, we knew we had to win a game. And at the end of the day, we won. So we're happy with the win. Hey, Kevin, how do you jumpstart that run game? Um, I, think it's, I think it starts with everyone, perimeter blocking, my footsteps, the running backs, the O-line, as, as everyone as a team. It's not just one person or one thing we can do. Everyone just has to get better. What has broken down when it hasn't worked? Um, I would say just missed assignments, really. That's that's really what it is, not executing the plays. Because the plays are there, the runs are there. We just have to hit them to execute. What was your confidence in going back to Tyler after he kind of dropped that one few plays before in the end zone? The um, I told him after he dropped that ball, I was like, I'm coming back to you at the end of the game. I just knew he had to make a play. I was like, you're going to make a big play, and you had like have to make it. And he was like, all right. I told him before the play, I'm coming to you. And he's like, all right. <laughs> I just, I, I mean, how, what does that do for a teammate's confidence when you go right up to him and say, this is coming, you be ready again? I mean, it's, I, it's, it's a job of a quarterback. But I can't imagine what, what it must do for him to have you be able to just come right back to him and, and, and instill his confidence like that. Yeah, Tyler's a confident play. I mean, he's all conference two years in a row. He he dropped the ball. He's a receiver. Everybody dropped ball, missed passes. So it's like it, it happens. You just have to next play, next opportunity and make it. What does that last drive do for you guys moving forward? And as Coach reference, you didn't win games like that last year. Yeah, we didn't. So obviously it's a step forward for us, and we know we can – Close the game at the end of the. Uh, we can close at the end of the game. You mentioned the third game. You said after the third game, we might know what we are. You get a feel for it. For both of you, hitting that, not just the conference play mark, but getting that third game in when you don't have preseason in college football. What are some of the things that you pick up on? What are some of the things that you, you realize exactly who you are and what you are? Um, we learn, we see all our mistakes on film, we see what we're good at, and now we can just build on that. We can get better at our mistakes, we can build on what we're better at, and it just gives us a jump start going into conference play. Hey, Colby, what's the impact of the way Darius and Maurice are playing on the ends for you and Andrew in the middle of that defensive line? You know, they did a great job. You know, it's basically, uh, it's Darius's first season really starting, and so, so is Mo, and he just got moved out to end. So uh, I think they're doing an amazing job out there, you know. Um, you know, me and Clyde, when we get double team, we all just do our jobs. And so when one of us, when all of us do our jobs, one of us is going to make the play. From what you've seen so far, this year's Stony Brook team, how closely do they, res do they resemble the one that came in here and won last year? 
uh, you know, they were physical last year and they're running hard last year. So I think a big emphasis for this game is uh, our tackling. We really got to get the guy on the ground, you know, first hit.